Show Free and I am back with another banger! Bruh. That's how they be. But no. Um, I'm back with another video. If you've been keeping up on my channel, then you know what today is. Or you can just tell by the title of this video. Today is my pre-op appointments. I have surgery on Thursday. Today is Wednesday. I don't have surgery tomorrow. But a week from tomorrow at 7.30 a.m. I will be getting ready to have surgery. I'm so freaking excited. I actually am starting to get um, a little nervous. But, you know, I'm just trying to stay positive. I know God got me. I'm in good hands. I love my doctor. He's fucking amazing. So, um, yeah, so much has changed, though. Oh, my God, I've been so busy. Your girl is single now. That's right. If you've seen my hickey prank um, on my son's father, we are no longer together. Your girl is single but not ready to mingle. But no, um, so I'm moving. I am going to go to a little smaller two-bedroom just because the one that we're in is fucking huge. And we're on the third floor, which I wanted to go on the third floor because after flooding, you know, I was kind of traumatized. But no, baby, that third floor is too much for me and be whooping my ass. So I'm going down to the first floor. I also um, want a garage attached I have a garage now but it's not attached to my apartment so yeah what else oh i'm moving on sunday so yeah i've been trying to pack on top of getting ready for surgery and i'm working six days this week um so yeah another reason why i wanted to go on the first floor and hurry up and move before my surgery date is because i don't know how in the hell i thought i was gonna get up three flights of stairs after surgery like i don't know what i was thinking um but yeah i'm moving so i don't have to worry about that um that? anyways i'm on the way to my pre-op appointments i'll be there in just a few minutes so i'll see you guys there okay guys i'm back so they didn't let me record as you can see um, but it's fine there really was nothing to record all they did was um they gave me the instructions for what to do um before surgery and the day of surgery and after surgery um and then they gave me a pill to take the night before surgery two pills to take um the morning of surgery they asked me for my pharmacy um they're gonna send over my prescriptions today so i'll have that stuff ahead of time i've already paid everything off and everything like that so really the only thing left to do is get my covid test this weekend it has to be four days before surgery and then that's pretty much it um basically i'm just gonna go over the things that's on this instruction page so it says before surgery do not take any products containing aspirin ibuprofen or vitamin e no diet pills for two weeks before surgery or one week after surgery tylenol is okay no cigarettes exposure to secondhand smoke nicotine gum nicotine patches for at least four weeks before surgery or four weeks after stop any birth control or hormone therapy two weeks prior to surgery notify the office of any illness that develops such as a cold flu or a fever blister make arrangements for someone to drive you to the office for surgery and back home they must stay with you for the first 24 hours following surgery um do not consume alcohol for three days prior to surgery make sure to fill your prescriptions the evening before take a light dinner with no meat fried or fatty foods do not eat or drink anything after midnight the day of surgery shower the morning before do not apply lotion or powder to skin wear a front opening shirt loose fitting pants and leave all jewelry at home remove all face makeup and contact lenses before coming to the office take your pre-medications as instructed um, be at the office on the 20th by 7 30 a.m 
and then after surgery do not take medications on an empty stomach do not mix alcohol with other drugs drink plenty of fluids after surgery solely begin solid foods um, rest as much as possible the day of surgery have someone help you to the bathroom do not plan any activities the day of surgery or the next day you cannot sit for at least two weeks after surgery you should sleep on your stomach avoid pressure and to the butt and hips wear your compression garment for 24 hours a day seven days a week except when showering when using the toilet, it is best to hover over the toilet instead of keeping your weight on the backs of your thighs. Um, never sit on your butt. Self-cleansing. After using the toilet, you should cleanse yourself with baby wipes after using toilet tissue. After 48 hours, you may take a shower. So I can't take a shower for two days. Remove your garments only when taking a shower. Do not take a bath or submerge the incisions underwater for three weeks after surgery. Wait four to six weeks to resume um, activities or athletics and call the office if you have any concerns, questions, increasing pain or swelling, or if your tissue feels tense. So that's pretty much everything that they went over. Um, they did, um, you know, ask me if I had any questions, which of course I didn't. Um... They told me to make sure that the day of surgery that I am drinking lots of water, Pedialyte, and um, Propel because it has the electrolytes. So they said to get a lot of rest, but at the same time, get up every one to two hours and move around just to keep yourself from not having that blood circulation and getting blood clots because if you get blood clots and you could die. Also, um, you know, you become really stiff after you sit for so long and um, swell more once you do get up after sitting for a long time. So they want you to move around a lot. Um, so a lot of doctors, they don't want you to sit for three to six weeks. They actually said that you can sit after two weeks, but to not to sit for long periods of time. Um, they said not to even use a BBL pillow for at least two weeks after surgery. So... Um, I guess someone will be, I mean, I'm, I took off of work for 10 days until June 1st, but I guess someone will definitely be having to pick up and drop off my kids to and from school and daycare for the first two weeks. Um, so yeah, I mean, that's pretty much it. Um, this is getting real. And so literally around a quarter a week from tomorrow, I'll be having surgery. That's exciting but it makes me nervous at the same time um yeah i mean there's really nothing else i'm trying to think if i'm forgetting anything the doctor did come in just to look at me again and pinch the fat that he's gonna be taken out tell me where he's gonna take and where he's gonna put in um yeah, so again, I'm just getting the fat taken out of my flanks, which is my upper stomach, my abdomen, um, my back fat. I have upper and lower back fat. I have pretty big love handles too, so they're going to suck all of that out, and they're going to put it in my hips and in my butt. So I told him I just wanted to make sure that he gets my stomach as flat as possible, and he said, oh, we will. He thinks that I'm going to have really good results too because of... Um, my body and where my fat is and how my fat is he says that again and i do have a little bit of loose skin in my lower abdomen area but that that's nothing that can't contract um after surgery so yeah i mean that's pretty much it um they said that my mom did not have to sit up here with me the whole time that she could drop me off and that they would call her when it's time for me to get up they also said that um the anesthesiologist will call me the day before surgery to ask me some questions and then the, the office will call me the day before surgery as well to um go over confirm with me the time of arrival and make sure I'm still good to have surgery and everything like that um I think I already said this but I have to get a COVID test this weekend 
and I'll just bring the results with me the morning of surgery as long as they're negative and I think that's pretty much it for the most part so yeah guys I'm excited this is getting real I was a little disappointed that they didn't let me record you know because he told me that I could last time but there was really nothing to record. Oh, they did ask me if I was okay with them sharing my before and after photos with other um, people that's going to have the surgery. And I said yes. And I told them it's okay for them to post it on their website and on their social media as well. So I just think that I'm going to have really good results. So if they fuck me up, then I'm going to change my mind. <laughs> but no. Um... I, th I, I have good faith and trust in my doctor that he's going to make me look amazing. I think I'm going to be very happy with my results. So, we shall see. Yeah. I'll see you guys in my next video. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave a comment below. Um, be sure to give this video a big thumbs up. Like this video. Um, I'll put my doctor's instagram page in the description and the um below and thank you guys for watching see you guys next time the day of surgery